Hello everyone. Welcome back to our Power BI channel. This is the third part of this DAX series. In the previous video, we have studied about some other categories of DAX functions like count, distinct count, blank rows, and so on. I hope guys, now you have cleared with the concept of count DAX function. And now in today's class, we will cover up some more aggregator functions which ends with A. So let's start the class guys. And here are the topics. So we will study average A, max A and min A. So let's go to the practical page guys. And I have already taken the same table which we have studied in previous class. And you can see same rows and columns which we have studied in previous class. Now go to the report page. Let's quickly create one measure from here. And under this measure guys, I will simply calculate average of amount column. And now I will write my DAX function, which is average. So here is only one parameter, which is column name. So I will select amount, which is from new table. And let me quickly take one card visual from here. And simply I will drag and drop this measure. And let me change the call out value guys so that you guys can see the actual figure. So guys, our actual amount is 1775. Now let's go back to the data set guys. And here we can see we have two blank values. So the total value is divided by 8. Because in the previous video, we have studied in integer data type exclude blank cells. That's why this total value divided by 8 instead of 10. Now guys, this time I want to calculate the average of this boolean value. The data type is true or false. So go back to the report page and let me quickly edit this measure. So what I do, I just removing this amount column and I will take boolean column from here and close the bracket. So we can see guys, it is getting me an error. So if I click on this error link, so we can see that the function average cannot work with value of type boolean. So let me close this error. And here guys, now average A comes to this picture, which replaced average. Now guys, what I do here, I will replace this average into average A. So our output is 0 0.50 because in boolean data type integer, true value return 1 and false value return 0. So it is a combination of 1 and 0 and it divided by 10. And if I added this measure and here I will enter amount column name. So let's see what happened. So our formula is average A and I have taken amount column. So guys, it gives you the same output which is 1775. So here we can see that guys, Average A is same work like a average function, but that only one difference is average function does not work on boolean data type, but average A work on boolean data type. I hope guys now you are clear with the difference of average and average A. Now comes toward the another topic of our today class, which is max A. So let me copy paste this visual and I am removing this measure from here. And let me quickly create one more measure. So this time I will create maximum measure on amount column. So I will simply write maximum measure here. And under bracket guys, I will put amount column. If I drag and drop this measure here, so we can see our maximum value is 3000 under amount column. So yes guys, we can see 3000 is the maximum value under amount column. If I want to see the maximum value of boolean data type with the max formula. So let me click on this measure and I will simply rename this boolean value. Again guys, we can see the same error. That means this function max cannot work with values of type boolean. And if I replace with max A, now press enter. So it gives you 1. 
because we have already told you here true represent one and zero represent false and if i enter here amount column so again it displaying the same result like max so again here we can say that guys max a is same work like a max function but the only difference is max function does not work on boolean data type but max a work on boolean in a similar way guys min a function also works like a average a and max a so let me quickly create one measure from here this time i will calculate min function min of amount min some name is amount and close the bracket and let me drag and drop this measure here so our minimum value is 200 which is correct now if i apply same formula with boolean data type so it does not work it will give you the same error guys the min cannot work with boolean data type so if i replace with min a so it will work guys So the minimum value is false because I said it represents zero as a false. So I hope guys now you are clear understanding with the concept of average a, max a, and min a. And those who are watching this channel first time and wanna learn Power BI from scratch. So here we have YouTube channel guys, which name is Power BI Full Course by Shubham. So within 50 tutorial, I have explained each and every concept in detail you guys can visit this channel and learn power bi from scratch and kindly share and subscribe this channel with those who really want to learn power bi from scratch and don't forget to press the like button and subscribe button and kindly stay connect with us for more learning about power bi thank you so much guys for your love and support thank you so much